So we are gonna work a little bit on handling bogies in an extra mouthy mood, which is totally normal and dogs explore their world with their mouths, which is why I like all super, all interactions with kids to be supervised. So kids should not be able to just touch them all over without you acting as a referee in between. So even if that means that your leg is like this, or that there's a circle time where the kids actually go, you need to make sure that your puppy is not reinforced for biting and that we're establishing a good positive reinforcement history between your kids and your puppy um, so that they don't start chasing and biting. But back to handling. Um, so first I like to get them just comfortable. It doesn't have to be on a mat, but I do like to use the mat because we have additional exercises for the mat. And so I like to use it because it also just starts to give the cue that they are going to be touched and handled. I like to start pretty easily. So I do basically one touch or pet, one click, one treat, just so they start. I'll show you what it looks like if I weren't going to do this. So I'm petting Bogey. That's nice. That was the beginning of being mouthed. He's chewing here. So and he's already starting to mouth. So that's the beginning of it. If I were to continue to engage, I would get additional mouthing. So what I'm gonna do is do one pet, one click, one treat. If you can't even get one long pet in there, start with just touch, click, and feed. Most of the puppies that come to puppy class are already so over sensitized to being touched that they are biting for the smallest touch. So you really wanna start positive and start fast. So if it just starts there, that's fine. One touch, one click, one treat right in front. And then you can touch different parts of them. So their ears, and that's why the clicker is helpful too because I was able to click before the bite. A paw, one click, one touch. I know that's really hard, huh? Notice his tail is wagging, he thinks this is fun. You could do this for dinner. Um, and as they get better, you can progress to maybe two pets. Also notice that my petting is a flat hand. If I were to do this, which is what people love to do with puppies, um, I just am going to encourage the biting and amp him up. You'll see his tail start to move really fast. Now he's starting to go for my shoelaces. It doesn't take much for them to be like, oh, we're doing this. This is amazing. Let's do this. And then you've got to bring them back down again. So good. I'm going to click because that's the absence of biting. I'm going to feed him and start again. Hi. Yeah. When introducing a grooming tool, it's very similar. So you show them the tool. Oh, wow, don't wear pokey, huh? You give them a cookie. You start with a little bit, one click, one treat. A little bit of brushing, one click, one treat. Even if that was just your session for the day, that's okay. Depending on your breed of dog, so he's probably going to be a little predisposed to ear infections, which means I'll definitely want to start looking at his ear. You'll definitely also want to start working with their teeth, and that's something else we can cover. But for now, just handling and introducing your grooming tools. So, whether you want to use a Dremel or actual clippers, now is another time that you actually start to build the positive association. So, Bogey actually does could use a nail trim. I'm not going to do it yet, but I am going to start priming him for touching his nails clicking and feeding. So with looking, wow, clicking and feeding. I won't actually probably cut for another couple of days. And even if I get one nail at a time, that's what I'll take. You'll also notice he's starting to mouth with me. He gets extra mouthy when he's tired, hungry, overtired, or has to potty. So this right here, because I know he's potty, he's definitely not hungry. This is just overtired. So I won't reinforce that. You'll notice he finds his own reinforcement with shoelaces. That's for another day. Um, but we can go back. So I'm just going to redirect him. Hi. Can I have that back? Thank you. And then rearrange the situation so that doesn't become an option. And then go back to handling. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. You would like to see this? Oh, you would. Wow. That's really fun. Just making sure everything is super fun and a good positive association. Oop, I just got a nail. And then he gets one cookie for that. Good. So 
just making sure that handling and grooming happens every day and that it's slow to control. This is important. This is a potential very expensive behavior if you don't get this down and don't have this positive association with it. So happy hands.